Hi Aries and welcome to your weekly love tarot forecast. This is for the week of December 17th through December 23rd, 2018. Aries, let's see what your overall energy is in regards to love and romance for this week. Okay, there we go. Ooh, we've got freedom. So this says, it is your time to shine. A freedom belongs to those who feel, see, and breathe it. You have made it through the darkness, so rise to the light within. Aries, this is just a good week for love and romance for you guys in general with this card. It's like, you know, um, even if you're single and that doesn't change this week, it's like you're feeling okay about that. If you and your partner have been on the outs, it's like this week we're vibing again. Um, you're just, whatever's going on for you romantically, you're feeling good about it. It's not heavy. It's not challenging. It's like a lighter pace of things. So, whoa. It's like, and let's pull some tarot as I drop the whole deck. Yeah, it's just going to be easier week in regards to love and romance. Some of you um, may have recently gotten broken up, or maybe this week you are getting broken up, but with that card coming out, if you're breaking up, it would be that it's you want that, like you're letting somebody go because you want your freedom, your, for whatever reason that is, okay, it'd be like you're letting them go, or, you know, some of you could really be desiring your freedom and contemplating, you know, do I stay in this relationship, but I, I don't feel like that's so much it, if it's like you broke up, it's because you wanted it, or if you've been struggling with a breakup this week, you're feeling better about it, like you're really like, you know what, I embrace my singlehood, so let's pull some more cards, Aries. So over here, we have the page of, I'm sorry, the Knight of Cups could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And then over here, we have the Queen of Swords. So now we have some air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, Aries, what I see here is you're really vulnerable, emotionally vulnerable, open, um, could be offering your cup to somebody. Um, you know, you're really putting your heart on your sleeve and whoever you're involved with here, they're much more analytical than they are emotional. Like even if they get really emotional about things, the way they process like romantic emotions is not on the same level as you. They're very intellectual about it, opposed to processing those emotions, you know, in their emotional body. It's more like when it comes to love and romance, it's just kind of a weird vibe for them. So they process it in their mind rather than allowing themselves to feel it in their heart and their soul. And Aries, you might be, I feel like you're kind of talking to somebody about this. Like you're telling them, listen, you've got to open up to me more. You've got to really trust in me and you know, they're not bad. They're very honest. Um, if you've put yourself out there to somebody and they haven't gotten back to you, it's more like they're in deep contemplation mode about it, Aries, really. And it's not a yes or a no. Like, they're really, con like, seriously considering it. If you are in a romantic uh, commitment and, you know, you've asked your partner for something or you want to take things to the next level, they're really contemplating what you said. They're thinking about it deeply. All right. It's, it's not like it just went in one ear and like right out the other. So let's pull some more cards. All right. So we have free yourself. So we have freedom and then we have free yourself here. And over here we have passion. Okay, so Aries, listen, if you're really into somebody, but it's like they lack passion, they lack that fire, like you like their personality, you enjoy their company, you tend to have good times with them, but there's just not that fire, that friction, you know? Aries, if that's the case, and you, you have a lot of feelings, but that fire isn't there, 
I think the universe is answering your question that you've been putting out is should I continue on? Is this the one? Aries, I don't think it is because um, you wouldn't be getting freedom twice here if that was the one. It's like they don't have the same energy as you you know you're showing us uh, cups they're showing us air air is probably the least desirable energy for romance because it's it's intellectual it's nebulous kind of it it's not being felt okay it's only being thought about and when we're thinking about something analyzing it that's it's a different um part of you that's not feeling it okay and so if you've been dealing with somebody and I feel this is more for Aries who are like dating casually talking to somebody and it's like you like them they say they like you but there's like they just lack a passion or something Aries that's not your person like free yourself from that there's better for you um I just feel like your vibe is just too big and vibing too high for them. It's not like there's anything wrong with them or that they're not a good catch. I just feel like, if to be honest, they're kind of boring compared to you. And even though you like them, over time that would actually really cause a issue in the relationship because you're just a whole different energy okay so if you've been dealing with that you might want to let yourself go and just not even waste your time anymore um, other Aries out there I feel like you kind of have given an ultimatum to somebody and it's like look either you get on board with this or we do this or we do that or it's game over like I, I can't keep participating or putting myself and energy and efforts into this because you're not giving back what I need or you're unwilling to go to the next level, take the next step, whatever it is. And so Aries, those of you who have kind of put an ultimatum out to somebody else this week, they are very much analyzing it. Like they're really thinking about everything you said. So if you haven't had that talk yet, before you do, really make sure you articulate yourself well and try to not come from like super emotional like I, I, you make me feel bad this that and the other like I'm just upset you know talk about it say I really enjoy being around you you know I really would like to take things to the next step because we've been dating for six months or you know put facts out there to this person um, don't be super emotionally based in presenting your ultimatum to them um, because I don't feel like they'll respond well to that but if you're more factual about things like it puts them in this mode of you know analyzing weighing the pros and cons like they've got to come into a balance in themselves before they can give you any real decision so don't try to back them in a corner just say look this is what I need because I know myself and um, if you can't do that then we're not a match as much as I like you or care about you or as much as you like me and care about me you know we're not a, a match if we can't come to some sort of compromise on these key issues um, I'm not really getting much else with that so let's pull some more cards So we have Muse, Divine Feminine, Fifth Dimension, Regret, and Guide. Wow, very spiritual. Aries, listen. Definitely put your ultimatum out there. Like, you've got to be true and real to yourself, all right? Everybody does. However, like I said, don't be emotional about it. Don't be controlling about it. Just put the facts out there as these are my needs. 
that I have to fulfill in order to be happy and satisfied in a relationship. Like this is just what has to be or it won't work. It just it won't, uh, you know, um, and you will have success with that. But if you're very um, emotionally based about it and you're trying to just assert your dominance, assert your control, you're going to regret like presenting yourself like that. Spirit's saying this week in regards to matters of love and romance, how you express yourself, how you interact has to be from a, a higher consciousness. It, it can't be from upset emotions or desires or I, I want this, I want that. It, it's really all about like soul and that place of you. And as long as you're operating from there this week, Aries, <clears throat> there's no regret whatsoever. Now, since we've pulled these cards, what I see here is Aries. There could be somebody showing up in your life this week, kind of resurfacing and expressing a lot of regret for what's happened in the past. And you know, Aries, because we have freedom and free yourself, I, I think you still like them, you still crush on them, you still have emotion for them. But I'm not sure any person that's trying to return into your life this week is the best person for you. Even if they're really remorseful and sorry for the way things happened. Um, you've just changed, Aries. And there's you deserve like this fifth dimension soul connection. And if you're not getting that, then it's not worth your time. No matter how much you like somebody or think you love them. If you cannot fill them, like you might fill them in this place, but if they don't fill you in this place, like we're not equally on board in the fifth dimension, it doesn't matter. Aries, it does not matter. It will not work. It cannot be one sided like that. So, you know, really pay attention to, to anybody that's trying to return back to you. And, you know, is there viability? Can they really fulfill you all the way around? Even though you love them, are they really the right fit for you? Just keep that in mind. Now, those of you in committed relationships, I kind of feel that uh, you and your partner may have had kind of a bad fight recently or you've just been not seeing eye to eye about something. And this week, Aries, it's like all of those barriers are coming down and you're both feeling a lot of remorse and regret and it's like no we want to heal we want to forgive we want to forget we we don't want to butt heads we don't want to clash we're on the same team so those of you in committed relationships um this week looks very healing and you know if your partner is the one that's been doing and saying hurtful things it's almost like they have just this deep session of analysis within themselves where they just see their behavior and they're very sorry and they let you know it or if that's you Aries where you know um you are just in this analysis and you're like oh my god I why have I been acting like this why have I been treating you like this I'm so sorry so those of you in committed relationships I feel like this freedom and free yourself is like let go of whatever happened and let's heal, let's love, let's mend, let's just move forward, okay? So Venus is currently in Scorpio, and I'm going to pull a card to see what Miss Venus is offering for you this week while she's in Scorpio, because that's a very powerful, intense, transformational energy being offered to all of us. So let's take a look, Aries. Affirm. Say this mantra aloud. I am successful in all that I do. By affirming and visualizing, you plant the seed for a positive outcome. Yeah, Aries, you know, those of you in the committed relationships, you guys are going to move through this hard time. Those Aries who, are, you know, need to put an ultimatum out there, believe in the success, believe in what you deserve. And even if the person says, no, I can't do that, it's not because you're you're not going to receive that type of connection. It means you just can't get it from that person, but it's coming for you, okay? So don't lose heart. And others of you, 
after the analysis, that person will recognize and be like, yeah, okay, Aries, I'm on board. It's all about your energy. And with Muse and Divine Feminine, Aries, a lot of people I feel are going to be attracted to you and your light. Um, very similar to the Pisces reading where it's something about your vibe is really pulling people towards you this week. Over here on this side, illusion. Are you seeing this situation clearly from all perspectives? Trust your intuition as you look closely and objectively. Only then can you make your best decision. This is where I feel, um, you know, those of you in these committed relationships where somebody's feeling bad about their behavior or what they said or what happened the week before or the weeks before. They're just feeling really bad and they have that, you know, coming to Jesus where they just see things from a different perception and they're like, you know what, I'm really sorry. I regret what I said, what I did, and let's move beyond this. So Aries, this week is uh, definitely interesting. Higher vibrations of energy. You just remember, if it if they can't meet you halfway, then it's never going to work, ever, ever, no matter how much you love them. And you deserve a fifth dimension connection. Do not settle for anything less than that, okay? So those are your messages for this week. And before I let you go, I just want to let you know I'm going to be on Heather's show Tuesday, December 18th, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Eastern. I have left a link in the description box. You can click on that link and it will take you right to the show. Otherwise, Aries, I hope you have a very fabulous week. Take care.